Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about circle. We already know a circle is a two-dimensional shape which can be drawn on a plain surface like paper etc. A circle is made up of points on a given plane or surface that are at equal distance from the fixed point and the fixed point is called the center of the circle. You know the circle is made of curves. Let's take few points on the boundary of circle say A, B, C and another set say D, E, F. Look the surface of the circle can be divided into many curves. A curve which is a part of a circle is called an arc. An arc is generally represented by three points like ABC is an arc and we represented it by the letters ABC with a small curve or an arc drawn above. And here A and C are the end points of the arc. Same way DEF is another arc represented by the letter DEF with a small arc drawn above. Now here we have an arc ABC and P is another point on the circle. So ABC is also an arc. If we observe carefully arc APC is bigger arc and it is called the major arc and arc ABC is the smaller arc and it is called the minor arc. Now how to draw an arc? While using compass to draw a circle we don't need to draw a complete circle then it remains an arc. This is an arc. It is a curve which is a part of a circle. Here we can see how a curve is drawn using a compass. We already know what is a chord. A line segment with its end points on the circle is called the chord of the circle. So here the line segment MN is a chord. You know every chord divides the circle into two parts shown here by two different colors. One blue colored part and one yellow colored part. Each of these region is called a segment. Look the region above chord MN is smaller and it is called the minor segment. The region below the chord MN is larger and it is called the major segment. The diameter is the longest chord of the circle which passes through the center. It divides the circle into two equal parts and each part is called a semicircle. So there are two semicircles in a circle. We can also say when the chord is the diameter both the segments are equal and each segment or the part is called semicircle. If you remember the D or the protractor which we use to measure angle is also a semicircle. Here we have a circle with the center as point O. Now we name the two end points of an arc M N. Now let us join the end points of the arc with the center of the circle which is point O. Here the line segment OM and ON are the radii of the circle. Thus an arc bounded by the two radii divides the circle into two parts and each part is called a sector. Here the blue colored part is a sector and the yellow colored part is another sector. So the sector of the circle is 
bounded by two radii. The smaller sector which is the minor sector of the circle is bounded by arc M Q N. The rest of the circle is also a sector. It is the larger sector of the circle which is called the major sector. So to sum up what we learned today, what is an arc? It is the part of a circle between any two points on the circle. What is a segment? A chord divides the circle into two parts called the segments. The smaller segment is called the minor segment and the larger one is called the major segment. And what is a sector? The region enclosed by two radii and the arc is called the sector. The smaller sector is called the minor sector and the larger one is called the major sector. What is a semicircle? The diameter of a circle divides the circle into two semicircles. So that was all about circle. Bye bye children.